I love how Gary <coughs> stretches the truth just a little bit. I was telling somebody early tonight, nobody wants to interview me anymore. <laughs> I guess they're afraid uh, of what I might say. But I do believe it's time somebody said something, don't you? Uh, just briefly, I, I traveled light today, and uh, I didn't bring any of my books, but I brought some books that I feel are very important to read. Since the subject came up earlier on vaccines, I have five of these. If you're interested in them, uh, I support this gentleman's research in the science area. Uh, not necessarily where he comes philosophically, but he's also now written two other books, again on vaccines. <clears throat> you need to be very uh, watchful and wary of what the government is giving you to help you be healthy, because they really don't want you to be healthy at all. So I have these here. If you're interested, I only have five. They're nine dollars a piece, and I'll just uh, set them aside. Now, I've been accused of being an all-or-nothing kind of person from time to time. But I just happen to have a Baltimore Catechism, number one, pretty basic for most of you here. One of the questions is, what is God? What is God? And the answer for our children is, and this is a a theological statement I don't hear much in church. God is a spirit, infinitely perfect. Where is God? The answer is God is everywhere. Does God know all things? God knows all things, even our most secret thoughts, words, and actions. Is God just, holy, and merciful? God is all just, all holy, all merciful, as he is infinitely perfect. You know, today you hear a lot about Jesus, don't you? As a matter of fact, Newsweek has been talking about Jesus. And Time has been talking about Jesus. Jesus. The frustrating thing for me is this Jesus that they talk about is not my Jesus. This Jesus that they constantly refer to is the cosmic Christ, the New Age Jesus. And this is a frightening thing because from whence does this human Jesus, this Demiurge, if you will, this heretical Christ come from. And with that beginning, with the concept that God is an infinitely perfect spirit, I'd like to delve back into 1931. A House of Representatives special committee described the enemy, communism. And here is what they said. The following, the House of Representatives said, is a definition of communism. This is not my definition. This is the House's definition. A worldwide political, a worldwide political organization advocating, one, hatred of God and all forms of religion. Two, they advocate destruction of private property and inheritance. Three, they advocate absolute social and racial equality, promotion of class hatred. They advocate revolutionary propaganda, stirring up strikes, riots, sabotage, bloodshed, and civil war. The House of Representatives in 1931 said they advocate the destruction of all forms of representative or democratic government, including civil liberties, such as freedom of speech, of the press, of assembly, and trial by jury. Recently, 
just an aside, I had to sign two documents, one to lease a facility and one to borrow money. I had to hire an attorney before I signed the first lease in order to get out of giving away my constitutional rights to a trial by jury. The document said, when you sign this document, you will no longer have a right to a trial by jury. That was to lease the space that we wanted to lease. On the document to borrow money, again, when you sign the document, the document read, when you sign this document, you are giving up your right to a trial by jury. That document, if I wanted the money, I had to sign. That's where we are. 1931, 1996. Number six, the House of Representatives said the ultimate and final objective is by means of world revolution to establish the dictatorship of the so-called proletariat into one world union. In other words, what George Bush described as the new world order. Incredible to think that someone who has been espoused as a conservative Republican, George Bush, holds dearly to the beliefs of the Communist Party. I hardly ever talk about Bill and Hillary Clinton. They're hardly worth talking about. The Communist rules for revolution read like this. Ask yourself if any of these apply to today. Corrupt the young. Get them away from religion. Get them interested in sex. Make them superficial and destroy their ruggedness. If you like, you could take a pencil and just make a little check mark if it's already been done. Get control of all means of publicity. Get people's minds off their government by focusing their attention on athletics, sexy books and plays, and trivialities. Divide the people into hostile groups by constantly harping on controversial matters of absolutely no importance. Tanya Harding, O.J. Simpson. We've spent two years with O.J. We spent a week with John F. Kennedy. Destroy the people's faith in their natural leaders by holding them up to contempt and ridicule. Always preach true democracy, but seize power as fast and as ruthlessly as possible. Congress just passed the anti-terrorist bill. That bill allows the government of the United States of America to use its own military on American citizenry. Communist rules for revolution by encouraging government extravagance, destroy its credit, produce fear of inflation with rising prices and general discontent. Someone said earlier today the mistake that the Freeman in Montana made was they wrote fraudulent checks. But I ask you, how can you defraud a fraudulent bank? The Federal Reserve is completely fraudulent. It makes money out of thin air and then charges usury on top of it. Promote unnecessary strikes in vital industry, encourage civil disorders, and foster a lenient and soft attitude on the part of government towards such disorders. By specious, meaning fair-seeming, but deceptive. Argument caused the breakdown. Breakdown of what? Old moral virtues, honesty and sobriety. In other words, promote abortion, homosexuality, lesbianism, witchcraft, cause the restriction of all firearms on some pretext with a view of confiscating them and leaving the population helpless. The 1986 Gun Act was taking, 